Welcome to part 2 video on performing the IGOM gap analysis within the IATA operational portal platform, currently referred to as the IGOM portal. This video will explain how to update a gap analysis with the new edition of IGOM and how to continue in updating an existing gap analysis. This video will include two aspects, cloning and reusing an existing published gap analysis, continuing a gap analysis in draft. Cloning and reusing is an essential process. It's how to efficiently handle a gap analysis when a new edition of IGOM is released. When a new edition of IGOM is released, the IGOM admin can clone and reuse a previously published gap analysis. Here's how it's done. Select New File for Previous Version. Choose the latest published gap from the list of previously published gap analysis. Rename the gap analysis and click Continue. All mapping assessments and document references from the previous gap will be transferred to the new gap analysis. Any IGOM procedures that have been updated with the latest IGOM version will be highlighted for easier comparison, and mappings for those procedures will be automatically changed to Variation. A list of these updated procedures, as well as those mapped as variations in the previous gap analysis, will be generated for review and will appear on top of the gap or screen. Each item on the list shall be reviewed before proceeding with the publication of the gap analysis. To expedite this review process, utilize the Go to Item feature, which allows quick navigation to review the mapping response and make any necessary updates for each item. IGOM procedures that have not been revised between the previous and new IGOM editions will retain their mapping status as in conformity or out of scope, but will require confirmation. The confirmation process has two options. Confirm all conformity and or out of scope references that remain unchanged across IGOM editions with a single click, or Review each item individually in case there were some changes made in a company's manual. Now let's look at the Continue Draft feature. Once a gap analysis is started, either through the New File or the New File from Previous Version option, all information is automatically saved in the IGOM portal as a draft. In case a gap analysis is not completed or published, the saved draft can be accessed and the remaining information filled in. In case a user no longer needs a particular draft, the Discard Draft button can be used. This concludes the segment on the IGOM Gap Analysis section. This IGOM Gap Analysis process will also be similar for other IATA standards. For more information, visit IATA Ops Portal User Guide for IGOM sections 4.7.3 and 4.7.4. Contact us at igom at iata.org.